Guys, T Max here bringing you What's Cracking 87. Today we are here with. Kuda. Sweet luck. And your host yeah. with the most gangster prankster. Welcome back to another episode of What's Co host. Crack. Jesus. We don't care about you, Kuda. Yeah, you didn't <laughs> introduce it. yourself. So I'll just take, okay. I'll take all you of that. You can't be like your co host, Kuda, and then just random sweet luck, and then your other co host, Gag. Yeah. <laughs> It doesn't work. We need to we need to fix that that problem. No, no, we can't fix the order. That's God damn it, yes. The order <laughs> established. Being first is difficult. I have to be the first one to talk after you're done. Is... <laughs> Stress. 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 <laughs> oh god. We're not it's alone anymore. today. We have a special Hollywood guest, so sweet look, please introduce them. <laughs> Marilyn Monroe. That's Just like new Marilyn Monroe? Oh yeah. Uh, wait. She's dead, bro. What? <laughs> She's kind of dead. Yeah. Oh, 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 I have a backup. I have a backup. You ready for this one? He's kind of famous. He's been a president. Abraham oh, Lincoln. Like George W. Damn it! Shot in the face, bro. Like, you know. Oh, he, he... Wait, what? He got shot in the face? Yeah, like, forever. It was in the papers. Uh, it, it's, a, it's okay. I got another president. John I know. F. New kids don't breathe. Oh, my God, dude. Also right. shot in the face. <laughs> By a grassy knoll. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We gotta find that grassy knoll. If I, yeah, we should bring the grassy knoll on. <laughs> um, God I, damn I it. couldn't get in contact. Uh, apparently, it it moved streets, so I had to go someone else. Um, How did Mark? the grassy knoll get into that library? I don't know. Um, I, I don't know. It's <laughs> it, it can curve bolts too, so you know, I guess it can do whatever. It, it can curve the goddamn bolts. The goddamn conspiracy bullshit. <laughs> and then um. All right, my my last one, I guess, since y'all don't want to talk to the other. Your last chance, Jesus Christ. Um, Martin. Oh my God, is it Jesus Christ? King? He said to <laughs> Martin Luther King, MLK. Dude, did you just like pick up famous people that were shot in the face? Wait, hold on, wait. Junior, does that does that make it better? Hey, next I don't time know. you bring a Ouija board, and we can have all of them. Oh, dude. We could have dead guy shot in the face party. Oh my god. <laughs> we could. Except Marilyn Monroe. I don't think she got shot in the face, but you know, everybody else shot in the face. Oh. Did he? Did Martin Luther King get shot in the face? He got shot. I, I, it wasn't in the face. Yeah, it wasn't in the face. Kennedy's head got blown off. Yeah. <laughs> face. Lincoln, Lincoln face. <laughs> Lincoln uh, back of head. God, he's probably like, but this play Lincoln is so boring. Died. I wish somebody so would just kill me. That's the thing. Lincoln didn't die instantly, though, so. Yeah, you ever see his head, dude? It's like fucking. Yeah, his hat probably... was amazing. It saved him from the list. <laughs> yeah. But. Yeah, you know, think... We're starless again. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Another episode. Another not uh, so Hollywood. I'll even settle for a D list. See, I tried, to get, I tried to get Christopher Columbus, but I couldn't find his phone number. So. <laughs> Isn't it like 1942 or some shit like that? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Hold on. What did he discover? America? 1816. Yeah. 1642. <laughs> July 4th, America. Never it wasn't seen. July 4th? What the <laughs> no, I'm just saying July 4th is just past. <laughs> America. <laughs> Columbus founded America on July 4th. <laughs> he rolls up, I'm going to name this place America. And they shall yep. call it USA. <laughs> this place is America. We shall call the people here Indians. What the fuck? What does that mean? <laughs> So, uh, what, how did America get its freedom? I don't know. I'm literally asking. I have no idea. But it, Declaration it was, of Independence. It's literally in its name of Independence. It was it was free, and then a bunch of Spanish and English people. It was independent. Period. Dude, the Indians lived with the buffalo, and yeah, if you're yeah. talking about Native Americans, they were always free. Yeah, and they were good. And then the Spanish people and the white people came, and then they made it not so free. And then other white people were like, okay, you're going to be even less free. But then the other white people who weren't free were like, freedom, America! And then the tea-drinking white people had to go back to their country. What about the Mongolians? uh, They broke down our shitty wall a couple times, but, you know, other than that, I think we're good. God damn it. I don't think – I don't remember the Mongolian War of, like, yeah. Of shitty walk. <laughs> shitty walk. Yeah, shitty walk. Yeah. Goddamn. But uh, to start off this episode, Kuda's got a story he's been saving uh, just for this occasion. So. Like 
Japanese days is when they made me laugh. Okay, so I'm in Japan, right? And no, uh, dry- it's new okay, city. Well, when did you get to Japan? Japan? I've been in Japan for like almost a whole year now. <laughs> right. And I've been driving and stuff because you know it's cool. But after a year, you gotta get a Japanese driver's license because stupidness, whatever. And unless you're from every other country in the world except America, Jamaica, and like one other country, you Jamaica. have to get a Japanese driver's Cuba. license. Yeah, everybody else can just like go to the place and be like, hey, can I have a Japanese driver's license? I'll be like, uh, okay, uh, here you go. And then, yeah, unless you're American like me. And so I got to, I got to like, I got to take the test and get all the paperwork done. And if you don't know, Japanese driver's license is like the most complicated fucking thing in the world to get. And I literally had like a pound of paperwork I took to the fucking, the, the license center. And I was just kind of hoping it was all there and it was okay. And, you know, so I get to the license center, I got all my paperwork, I hand it to him. It's good. He's like, okay, check, 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 check. And he's like, what is this? And it's in Japanese, but I, I know a little bit of Japanese. He's like, Kore wa? And I'm just like, I was talking to my supervisor, she trans- translate. I don't speak that much Japanese. <laughs> anyway, and I was like, oh, that shows that I was in America for three months after I got my driver's license. Because apparently I have to prove that I was in America for three months after I got my driver's license in America. And so it was a paper from my work saying, yes, I was an employee in America from... 1990 from then until that whatever had dates and he was like original and i was like uh shit i'm like no copy and he's like dame which is basically the japanese word for like no fucking good and i was like ah shit but he just glazed over it and kept going through my paperwork i'm like <laughs> okay maybe this, maybe this is not a big deal Keeps going through my paperwork, paperwork, paperwork. Gets my passport. Everything's good. And then he gets my international driver's license. It's the thing that I've had since I came to Japan that allows me to drive, but only for one year before I have to get a regular driver's license. But the date on my international driver's license says August 1st, 2013. And he's like, eh? Because that's what a Japanese person says when he's like shocked or confused. <laughs> eh? I, it's, I'm not kidding. That's what they all say. And he's like, eh? And he goes back to my passport. I came to Japan on June 28th, 2013. <laughs> mm-hmm. But the driver's license said I got it in America August 1st. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's all pull out our calendars. What date comes first? Uh, don't, oh. January. December. December. July. Okay, cool. Thank you for flying. Your, your calendar starts with July? No. What month comes before? Oh my god. July 28th. <laughs> you totally misunderstood the question. July becomes before August. July 28th <laughs> comes before August 1st. But my international driver's license says valid for one year from August 1st, 2013. And he was like, he kept looking back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I'm like, What's going on? And he started talking to my supervisor in Japanese stuff. I didn't understand. And he looked really like, just like, this is not right. And then she turned to me to tell me, uh, it says, you got this August 1st, but you were in Japan July 28th. That looks very strange. And I was like, <laughs> uh, yeah. But. When I got my international driver's license, they basically asked me, oh, when do you need this so you can drive? And I was like, oh, I won't need to drive before August 1st. So put August 1st. And so they did. And so he was just like, oh. He looked at me and was just like, no. <laughs> I was like, what's going on? But yeah, because that wasn't the issue date. It was the valid date. Like, it starts here. There was no other date, though, on the whole fucking international permit. I didn't realize that until just then. I'm like, oh, God, how do I prove that I did not forge this document <laughs> poorly? I mean, I've played Papers, Please. I know how to, like, make shit correlate, you know? I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> stamp. Stamp. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, so, yeah, he's just like, no, 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 no. Damn it. And I'm just like, oh, shit. And basically, she told me, she's like, uh, with this like with this date, you have to change it. And I'm like, 
I can't change it. I'd have to go to America. <laughs> and she was like, well, you cannot get your Japanese driver's license with this date. And I'm like, fuck, I'm going to be riding a bike Why for the next date. Why does date matter order. that much? Because it made it seem like I got it issued after I was in Japan when I was supposed to only have gotten it in America. So it made it look, at least in my eyes, that like I forged it or something or like I was committing fraud or something. Anyway, so after he's like, no, 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 and my trans my supervisor translates real quick, they take my passport, my license, <laughs> my immigration card, they take all my important paperwork and that they they're throw basically you in jail? like You need to keep this paperwork forever and don't let anybody take it from you. They take it from me. And I'm just like, What what's going on? <laughs> And then he's just like, ah, wait over there. <laughs> I'm like, eh, that's what Chris Hansen says before they, before they <laughs> jump on the cuff off. <laughs> have a seat over there, please. And I was like, I, I had my have my seat over there, please moment. I was like, ah. Oh, I, 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 <laughs> Did like, you oh, eat no. the cookies? <laughs> no, there were no were cookies. You like, can, can I just have another glass of lemonade before I can go? <laughs> and I'm like trying to talk to my supervisor. I'm like, what's up? What's going on? And she was just like, I, I don't know. We have to wait. <laughs> She's like, you don't and, messed up. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my God. So I sat around and I you sat around moved. and I was like trying to yell at people back home like, oh my God, I need paperwork. Saying I didn't forge this document. I need something that says I got it. Like, June, whatever, when I got it. Oh my god, I was freaking out. I was sending messages home. I was waking people up. It was like midnight in Texas, and everybody was freaking out. Yeah, so freak them out. I'm freaking out. I had to wait an hour, not knowing what was happening. It was really scary. Okay, I was fun. like, I thought I was going to get like arrested. I thought they were going to come out and be like, um, turn around, sir. Yeah. What's the worst that could happen? Um, <laughs> I've been illegally driving in Japan for the last year, and that they, I don't know, they take driving without a license in Japan very, very, very seriously. So, stole a bike uh, and got away with it. Shut up! I was given a bike that was not <laughs> theirs to give, and I just took it anyway. Right? <laughs> just took it anyways. That's totally fucking different. Hey, if somebody's like, "Hey, you want this bike?" Sure. <laughs> like, you're not gonna be like. Is this your bike? <laughs> like, you just Who would turn on a bike? Yeah. So, so, yeah, I'm waiting, and I'm waiting, and I'm waiting, and I'm sweating, and I'm just, like, nervous as hell. I got this, I, I, I thought I was going to throw up. Were you hungry? I don't know. No, I was not. No, I actually ate lunch with my supervisor right before, because apparently you... They expect you to wait so long in the DMV in Japan that they build a restaurant in the DMV. <laughs> so our, our DMV TV. is quick. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I was at the DMV for like four hours, and I was fucking stupid. Yeah. And so I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I feel sick. I'm waiting. I'm still trying to contact people back home. Like I'm like, dig through all the paperwork from like last year. All of it. All of it. <laughs> like, uh but I didn't want to alarm them thinking that, like, oh, my God, I, I might be in a lot of trouble here. Because <laughs> I was thinking, best case scenario, I can never get a Japanese driver's license and I have to ride my bike for, like, an hour and a half to work each day back and forth. Hey, you get fit. Yeah. <laughs> and it rains a lot here. And then it starts to snow in the winter, like, three, four feet. So um, Super fun. <laughs> yeah. Hey, was, you don't have to worry about sweating. So I was just thinking, that's the best case scenario. Worst case scenario, they're like, you got to come with us. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, if I get in trouble while I'm at, like, with my job right now, they will deport me. They will send me home. And I'm like, oh, is this how my adventure in Japan is going to end? You know, <laughs> get the fuck out. You've been driving illegally for, you know, 10 months, 11 months. Whatever. That would suck. <clears throat> oh, yeah, that would definitely suck. So I was – all the thoughts racing in my head. I'm like, okay, how do I fix this? How do I make it better? <laughs> how do I make it look like I didn't, like, make this document up, like, when I came to Japan so I could drive? I don't know. <laughs> Freaked out. Hour later, he comes out. <clears throat> how many hours saying, later? It was just one hour later after. I, he. It looked like he confiscated my passport and driver's license and immigration card and everything. <laughs> and he comes out. And he explains to my supervisor some stuff, and I'm just sitting there going, oh, my God, I don't understand any of this. 
<laughs> yeah. And so he explains to her, and she turns to me, and she says, oh, the paper from your work. I was like, yes, I, I'm getting the original mailed as we speak. <laughs> and she says, ah, oh, you don't need it. I was like, what? <laughs> okay, because that was like step one. Like, oh, I'm not going to get my driver's license. And she's like, ah, oh, you don't need it. The, the officer has verified that you were in America for however many months or whatever after I'm like, okay, why do I need this paper then? I was basically <laughs> tossed it. And then they keep talking, and I'm like, okay, when are they going to get to the international driver's permit? That's apparently illegal and not <laughs> not good. Um, yeah, and they basically never get to it. They don't acknowledge it. <laughs> it was never there. And I wasn't going to ask questions. They gave me back all my shit. They sealed it up. They're like, you need to make an appointment here to take your Japanese driver's test, which is going to be another whole fucking story in itself. I might have to take it five fucking times. It apparently has like a, a 70% fail rate. Like, That's good. So you didn't take oh it yet? God. No, I didn't even take it. I had to schedule it. I haven't even scheduled it yet. And I've only got like three months before I'm going to have to start riding a bike. And <laughs> um, yeah, hopefully I can schedule it tomorrow. And then I have to go, and I got the paper that shows the course. It's basically a little fucking obstacle course, and except for your car. And the, it's in Japanese, and, and so You're I'm, hoping, <laughs> I'm hoping I'm okay. I mean, I really only need to know left and right, and I think I got it. I get it mixed up sometimes, though, but... <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> be bad. Go left, and you just take a random right and turn. Like right now? Yes, right now. Okay. Into the is, your your, your instructor is gonna look at you and be like, "What is wrong with this guy?" Well, sometimes I've heard horror stories. Sometimes they don't even give you instruction. You have to memorize the course, and this thing is like a fucking maze. <laughs> I'm just like, this is not happening. And I'm, I don't know. I don't know. It, it could be really good. It could be really bad. I'm not gonna know for at least like a week or something. I'm really nervous. No, I'm not nervous. I'm excited for this experience. It's going to be great, and I'm going to have a good story. And Yeah, it costs 30 bucks each time I take the test. I've known people that had to take the test seven, eight, nine times. <laughs> um, these are Asian people. No, these are other gaijin. Uh, oh, other they're just white people. <laughs> That's not yeah, as impressive. Well, they're not all white, but yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, and I'm going to have to take a day off from work each time I want to do it. It really fucking sucks. I'm gonna use like all my vacation days. It's, it's gonna be terrible. Pass it the first time, you stupid. Oh yeah, I would love to. I hope. I hope I can. I'm thinking positive. I'm going to pass it my first time, and then I will never have to do that shit again, and it'll be good. And oh my god, yeah. But that's that's for another day. So Kuda's not in jail. I'm not doing what's cracking live from <laughs> Japanese prison. <laughs> Don't have to worry about getting raped. You're, you'd be the biggest guy in the jail, so you're all safe. Oh. God, yeah, that would be so awesome. Um, <laughs> if you do end up getting a bike, can you get one with a little a basket in the front? <laughs> oh, yeah, they all have baskets in the front. You can't get a bike in Japan without a basket. <laughs> okay, that's amazing. That's I'd a good get a deal bike. in Japan. Yeah. Who needs a car when yeah. you get a, a basket on your bike? Uh, dude, I need to carry my shit somehow. God. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, so that that's gonna be fun. Couple of days, whatever. Yeah, I'm. Uh, but I'm not in jail, so that's look at the bright side. I'm not in jail. Yeah, but if I, you went to jail, it'd be a better story. <laughs> yeah, a story you know? you'd never hear because you'd be like, we haven't heard from Kuda in like three months. What? What's up with that? <laughs> you get to make a phone Skype call. In. Yeah, you yeah, can call I us. I can Skype on. Yeah, and like I'm gonna call you guys with my one phone call. Like, why wouldn't you be like? Call. It could be the hey, longest guys. phone call ever. <laughs> what up? I wanted to talk to you guys. Could you also contact my lawyer and my family and, you know, all this little stuff? But I thought I could count on you guys to do that stuff so I could waste my phone call. Totally Bye. trust us, Kudos. It's just I wouldn't yeah. pick up. I'd be like, oh, I could just call me on Skype. I'm not answering right now. It'd be like a collect call from Japanese prison. They'd be like, hey, would you like to accept it? Uh, if you get a collect call from Japanese jail, <laughs> pick up, all right? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Both of you, right? That's yeah. long distance, man. <laughs> God damn. Right? I don't know anyone in Japan. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know anybody in Japan. Who would this be? Oh, yeah, whatever. Fucking tell me. <laughs> so, yeah, that was my fun Thursday. <laughs> That'd be like the funniest thing is pick up, be like, 
Yes, I guess I'll accept. And then be like, sweet luck, oh my gosh, I'm in jail. <laughs> <laughs> call my family. Don't ask why I didn't call them first, but call my family, call my lawyer. All right, don't even ask how I got your phone number to begin with, all right? Because, I know, uh, right? Jesus, but... I talked to Biggie earlier, but... he's flying over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, contact Biggie, he can hire Johnny Cochran or some shit, yeah, some... Get some... Who the fuck's Johnny Cochran? I don't know. He's not a lawyer. OJ's he's not a lawyer. lawyer. It wasn't... I can't remember. I'm getting my name mixed so. up. He's dead, though, so... Yeah. Yeah, yeah he was going to be our guest star. Yeah, we'll add him Damn. to the list, to the Ouija board list. <laughs> Yeah, what if I could do that? Defense through Ouija board, like you know, like, <laughs> I'm channeling Johnny Cochran. He's like, the glove does not fit. I'm like, Johnny, I wasn't wearing glove. Uh, <laughs> then you must acquit. All right, just period. <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right, so there's my. Well, next time, try and get arrested. Okay. Yeah, next time I'll just punch you know, the top in the face. Yeah, I'll just start hitting people for no reason. Yeah, they take my passport. I'll just punch them in the throat. Take that shit around. Yeah. <laughs> They'd be like, they said never to give this one to anyone. <laughs> yeah, never, never. Oh shit. So yeah, that was not going very well with the police. I could drive without a license, and I've I've literally never needed my international permit. I could probably get away with it, but my luck, it'd be like day one. <laughs> Like, yeah, like, random white guy driver check. Okay, pull over. <laughs> yeah, random checking. Yeah, you can just random. call racism then. <laughs> <laughs> they can do that, you know. It's like they can ask any foreigner ever. It's like goddamn Arizona. Like they can be as like, show us your card, your green card. Well, except it's not green. It's so no. card. It's card. Really cool. No, <laughs> God. no. They just kick, they put you in a cannon. They shoot you out of Japan. Like right then and there. Oh, that's convenient. Towards North Korea, which is, you know, a whole oh, other shit stuff. So, <laughs> they're pissed because of that movie. Yeah, it's coming out with Seth Rogen. And oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, it's an act of war. And I'm like, I gotta see this movie. <laughs> is there any updates on North Korea? Like, um, They're mad because China was like, we're gonna go see everybody in the neighborhood except North Korea. And North Korea was like, unacceptable! And they started doing like a fake war with themselves and yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. They did like demonstrations. They're like, if we were to go to war with China, this is how it would be. And there'd be like basically 100 guys versus one, one North Korean guy. And the one North Korean guy would kill them all. <laughs> like Rambo. Yeah. Yeah. Every soldier is Rambo here in North Korea. <laughs> yes. Every one of them. <laughs> Bring it on, China. Bring your billion people. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> your billion not starving, you know, people who you know, are brainwashed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys ready to talk about some gaming news? Hell yeah, uh, let's yes. go. Now that I'm not gonna be in jail, all I want to do is play games. Like, uh, just well, celebrate your freedom. <laughs> yes. <laughs> do I have a game that you might want to play and dedicate? Maybe you can even become a professional. So apparently, according to Ubisoft. They are trying to turn Just Dance into an eSport. What up? <laughs> oh, I can't wait for the Just Dance movie where it's like, you know, bring it on or whatever, except it's just, just Dance. Yeah, Yeah, they announced uh, an, an inaugural global championship that's going to be held <laughs> in, uh, I don't know where, but there's going to be qualifiers between June and September. And... Um, um, how are they going to do that if you can just memorize it? I have no idea. Uh, style points, bro. Put in some flair. You know. Okay, but it's all off like the camera eye or whatever. And you... Throw in some backflips just for fuck <laughs> whatever. You know? yeah. They're just going to have to be like, all right, here's a new song that we just did. Whoever does the best in this goes on. I would love for a professional dancer to be in there, and then he loses to some random guy. Yeah, I could uh, see that happening. Uh, <laughs> Oh man, I could beat that guy probably. Are you gonna compete though? Are you gonna try and be oh, yeah. the first ever Just Dance Dude, I have Global already Champion? Up. You mentioned Just Dance World Champion, and I was like googling that shit, and I signed up already. Oh man, can't wait for more Just Dance, and then the Just Dance where you can play on your phone with everybody. Oh my god! Oh, is this what was gonna make me and Sweet Kramer pants, dude? Because no, no, that's movie news. That's movie news. 
Movies? What? Yeah, we're saving that one. That's a good one. But Oh, um, I know what it is. I know. Is it Pacific Rim 2? Yes. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, I okay. guess we could talk about it now. Pacific Rim well, 2. Well, sorry. I, was, I had to... I had a lot of build up, you know, from since last time I saw Pacific Rim. <laughs> well, actually, we can we'll talk about the movie news first because there's only two of them, and we can just get through them real quick. So yeah, first oh. Pacific Rim two release oh. dates April seventh, two thousand seventeen. Oh my God! What? When? What date? April Three years from now. Oh my gosh! And um, apparently, there's going to be an animated series as well. Oh, that would be kind. I think it leads into the uh, the sequel. So I just screamed again. <sighs> what are you roll, dude? I'm gonna be like spent before we get to like you know any other stuff. Are you actually excited about this? Oh, Pacific like Rim too? Yeah, that's what's that? There's like <laughs> they left no room for a sequel. In the movie. Uh, obviously, it's going to be a prequel. God. No, the rift could just open back up. Duh. Yeah, or like, you know, a space rift. And this time it'll be, you know, kaijus in space. And, yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah, explosions. <laughs> I wouldn't oh mind God. if the movie doesn't get made. I wouldn't mind. Oh, see, they're going to go to another planet, the humans, to, like, you know, colonate and shit. And then a rift's going to open on that planet. And then, you know, instead of just leaving... Or gonna like, the guy's oh, going to oh. tell the humans, like, what he saw when he was, like, at their planet or whatever. And they're going to be like, let's go destroy that planet. And then so it's going to be an epic war. <laughs> How oh, did the rift yeah. even happen? Did the aliens open it? Magic. Okay. The man. aliens opened it. <laughs> the butt sorcerer came so. out of nowhere and was like, <laughs> oh. And then... Uh, this the last piece of movie news, which is just as bad as the fucking Pacific. Rim. No, it's not as bad as Pacific Rim Two. It's shitty, but not as bad. Uh, apparently, there's being reports that, uh, of course, Superman and Batman the movie, which is going to be coming out soon. Of course, it's been announced that Woman, Wonder Woman's going to be in there. It's supposed to have a bunch of villains. It's going to lead to Justice League. Apparently, there's another superhero that's going to be in this movie. Want to guess, Kuda? Um, hold on. So it's it's Superman and Batman, right? And Wonder Woman. And Wonder Woman. And, hold on. And hold on. Please tell me it's hold Aquaman. On. Aquaman, yeah, I know it's Aquaman. It is. Yeah. yeah. Woo! <laughs> I forgot who they said is playing him though. It was like some guy. It's oh, guy it's the Game guy of from Game of Thrones who played Carl Drago. Yeah, yeah. I was like, he's not even close to being Aquaman. <laughs> Uh, that? Did you Go see Aquaman. the new picture of the Superman for the movie? Yep. Yeah, he's all wet in the rain and shit. Uh, I don't think he's wet, but it's like a dark background, yeah. Isn't he in the rain? I'm like, I don't pretty sure he's in the rain. I don't know. But, but it's Aquaman, so, you know. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know, the more I hear about this movie, the more I just cringe. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be like, you know... It's going to be like uh, Avengers, except not as good in any way, you know? Gah. It's going to be like, hey, here's Iron Man movie, and then here's Incredible Hulk, Captain America, uh, Hawkeye, Black Widow, all in the sequel. That's what it mm-hmm. is. Sounds fucking awesome, bro. <laughs> Sounds fucking stupid. Oh, God. We're jelly. I don't even... Ugh, Aquaman. Fucking Aquaman, really? <laughs> Not even the Flash, Green Lantern. No, the Flash is doing his show, right? Yeah, I don't know if it's gonna have anything to do with the movie though. I think That's probably why it's not tying in. They might tie it in eventually. But... Yeah, probably later. <sighs> Fucking Aquaman. Fucking, <laughs> Fucking Aquaman. I... He's just gonna pop out of the water and be like, "I brought fish." Yeah, or <laughs> Superman's gonna like have like kryptonite on him or something, and then Aquaman he's gonna sink the bottom of the ocean. And Aquaman's gonna like pick him up and pull out the kryptonite, and be like, "I got you, I got you." Man. I hope they're just like go away, Aquaman, and he's like, mm, "Okay," <laughs> he rides like a whale off to the fucking ocean or some shit. Uh, fuck likes Aquaman. Just makes like an appearance and just leaves. Like I am Aquaman. <laughs> this is and my dolphin. I am Dothraki. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, Does the guy get actor? Was that the guy that had sex with the little white girl in Game of Thrones? <laughs> the little white girl? The dragon the keeper or whatever? The mother of dragons? Yes. Okay, he like raped her or whatever, right? No, no. See, in the books, he didn't rape her. But in the show, he totally raped her. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, I know what the guy is. Okay. And he's going to be fucking Aquaman. Awesome. I don't know. He's going to have that long hair again. At least we still have Marvel. Yeah. He better yeah. be a blonde Aquaman, dude. Aquaman's always blonde, right? <laughs> Yeah, he's gonna have to dye his hair. This is just the best yeah. news ever. Fucking Just Dance Global Championships, Pacific Rim 2. Oh, that's good news. And then Aquaman. And that's so great news. I think we should end the show there. No news is gonna be better than that shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, that's what's we're cracking up. <laughs> yeah, that's the best news, yeah. Uh, what else do we got? Oh, Dota 2. Did you hear about this tournament? Last oh. time. Last time we talked about this, the prize pot was like at eight million. It's at about fourteen million now. Oh. So, Holy shit! So who the winning team is guaranteed to be millionaires? I think the top four are like gonna be set for life. <laughs> it's true. guys, we gotta pick up Dota. I thought about it. He has a lot of fucking patience for that shit. It's basically League of Legends. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and that's going to tie into our next topic. Um, I, could, I could learn it in a day or two. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> for those stats. Uh, what's oh, it called? Yeah. CD Projekt Red, which I don't expect you to know the name, but they're the creators of The Witcher. Apparently, they're making a Witcher MOBA. Because every fucking game needs a, needs MOBA, a MOBA tie-in. But... I am getting so sick of hearing about all these fucking MOBA games. Hey, uh, Dungeon Defenders 2, we're doing MOBA. Orcs uh, Must Die, oh, we're doing MOBA. Um, what else? There's a DC MOBA game coming out. Every fucking game coming out is a MOBA. I'm sick of this shit. Is no one else sick of this? I don't have played Awesome Knots for like two years, dude. So I don't know. <laughs> is MOBA really the new craze? Uh, yeah. It's been that way for a while, bro. It's not even a legend. fun genre, though. Like, I don't understand it. You love MOBAs. Awesome Nuts is a MOBA. Isn't every game technically the same, though? I feel like Awesome Nuts is only, like, the different one, you know? It's not like the... Uh, yeah, like try to follow closely to like League of Legends, Dota. Everything like is like a League of Legends, Dota clone. I'm getting so. Oh man, it's. When do you think the whole MOBA craze is gonna end? Never. Oh, as long as League of Legends and Dota Two are like basically free, never. God. That's true. Yeah, yeah. As long as they're popular. <clears throat> I expect a Call of Duty MOBA by the end of the year. <laughs> Yeah, until something, like, a more popular MOBA comes out, those two are going to be, like, I don't even get, no, fuck the MOBA series. Let's get a new genre popping. Let's bring back first-person yeah. shooters. Shit, let's make it 2008. Uh, oh, there's got to be a free first-person shooter that's, like, you know, better than the MOBAs and shit. Team Fortress. That's, like, the biggest yeah. free-to-play first-person shooter. That's basically a fucking MOBA first-person shooter. No, it's not. <laughs> I can see them making one, though. Oh, God. <laughs> you could. You use the pyro, the medical, I know. that shit. I just don't oh, give them my ideas. God. Well, Valve makes Dota. I don't think they'd make another game to compete with themselves. So They're too busy working on Half-Life 3. So. No, they're working on Portal. Never. That's not gonna happen. So, I think Half Life and Portal is somehow tied in. I believe so. I think if we get one, we're gonna get the other. Uh, what else do we got? Oh, this one's for Kuda and me and Biggie, and he knows where I'm going with this now. Trying um, one. Getting, never happening. Something else. Online co-op. Uh, later this year, they're going to be recreating the game with the Portal 2, uh, not the Portal 2, trying to engine, so that the the first game is now going to be able to have online co-op. 
Kuda, buddy. Didn't you enjoy yourself my for balls, a second? Suck my balls. <laughs> oh my god, you can suck my balls. You really didn't like it? Suck my dick through the back. You can't oh, use that shit on me. You can't use that shit on me. Dang. That's fine. That's mine. What does it even mean? <laughs> Let's Google it right now. That's totally possible, dude. You just I don't want to Google dude, suck look, my dick, dude. You just yeah, I don't push, want to. Yeah, you just push it down like all the way around, and then you get it from the back end. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I didn't follow that one. Can you explain in detail? Okay. No, okay. we don't need logistics so, for this shit. So, Come on, so like you're standing up, all right, yep. and then you, you got it pointing straight out. You push it down. <laughs> what <is this laughs> a picture for? And around. And yeah. then that leaves like just enough room between your butt cracks to get a little bit. Just the oh, head. That's gross, weird. Dude. <laughs> so train <laughs> one. <laughs> I know, Jesus. Get your girlfriend yeah. to try it, Kudos. She'll like it. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I told Gangster, I'll tell her that. You know, see what she. I'll just gauge what she just does after that, and then I'll get back to you, because maybe she knows better. You have than to I record do. it, otherwise, I won't believe you said it. Okay. And if you record yours, I'll ask mine. My girlfriend, will you say something? Don't worry why, just say it so that, that <laughs> do it. Yeah. Um, no, you have to record you asking her, just the audio, and then I'll do the yeah, same. Yeah, but how do you know I'm asking her unless she says something? I could just be yelling in my mic, you know. I know, she has to respond, but. Okay. <laughs> She's going to respond to like that. a terrible idea. I'm just going to pretend like we're not. We're not doing this thing. It's Kuda, me, you, and Biggie trying one. Should we set it up? Oh, God. You, you, when I Kuda sounds really excited for it. Did you really have that awful of a time? Oh, my God. I hated every moment of it. Or you had oh to wet God. the turtle or whatever. It was a snail, and you're like, we gotta feed it. We need to wash it. We need to wash we the snail. Wash it. Everybody scrub it. Scrub it with your little fingers. You, know, you can't do anything with it. Fuck! God, wingus, dingus! Oh my god! Did you wash it though? No. I think we tried. No, we made something grow, and it was like, oh, that looks good. It ran over that shit, and it was done. All right, we spent like a good twenty minutes trying to wash the damn thing. You guys <laughs> want to see Kuden trying one? Leave it in the comments. Doesn't matter. Jesus. Me and Biggie. <laughs> you go for it. Enjoy we have, it. have to. Fun. We have to do the first one. We did the second one. You can enjoy it. I'm not having to do anything. You couldn't pay me to fucking play that game. Who would pay to play the game? How much? <laughs> you just said I couldn't. <laughs> yep. How much? He's already being Everyone has out. their price. Everyone yeah. has their price. How much? I'll give you a dollar, Kuda. Suck my balls. Are you <laughs> Through the back of the game. <laughs> no, I don't care. Not even not a free me. copy? That's not paying me. Is it like a free copy of that plus something, you know, that I want that's better? No, but it's the Enchanted Edition. Dang. Suck my balls. This is very rude. Mm. You're hurting my feelings. Um, I don't care. Suck my balls. So if people, what if people in the comments, they scream, Kuda, Gangster, Biggie, I'd love to see you do Trine 1, because 2 is just amazing. I don't care. Wow. Hashtag hipster Kuda. Hipster, because I don't care. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. I'm disappointed in you. I Let's thought you'd be hipster down Kuda. I'll pull, I'll pull out my uke. All right, I'll start playing my uke. So I, I picked up the uke because that's what hipsters do, right? What's a uke? Ukulele. Ukulele. Oh, oh, see, you're, I didn't even oh, know like, your hips lingo. Fucking a uke. Yeah, bro. Because I woke up this morning, it was like. How many people can I piss off today? Huh? I'll take out my uke, go to the coffee shop, and play some, play some uke. I don't want to piss off anything. Godzilla. Zilla. That pissed people off. <laughs> can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it either, but it's an amazing instrument. It sounds like dying cows when like everybody does it at the same time. <laughs> oh, what else yeah. we got? I, actually, I got some more good news for you. Boner. Escape Dead Island. A brand new game announced on the last Woods Crack, and we talked about E3. <laughs> Dead Island 2 got announced. You weren't as excited for that, which... Okay, you know what? I want to get Sweetlick's opinion. You saw the trailer, right? Yeah. 
did you not enjoy it and kind of like, wow, that kind of looks like fun? Okay. How the trailer looks and how the game's going to be are going to oh be my co- God. Two oh, completely high different fives, things. Like, Don't push. High fives. Okay. So, No Man's <laughs> no, Sky. There was no gameplay in that trailer. It was you're all what? animated. Yeah, you're Thank right. Thank you. Oh, my God. I've told Gangsta that. He's like, oh, it wouldn't be good in the, you know, the trailer. It looks good. It's got to be good because the trailer looks good. I'm like, yeah, no, it doesn't. No. no and, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Here's you can't judge a tr- how good a game gonna look and like play and whatnot based off a trailer with no gameplay but didn't that's what i told him and it's a sequel to a game that sorry was not that great of a game <laughs> it's made so. by a different publisher publisher that just means somebody else gave him the money to fucking make <laughs> a piece of shit all right it's the same publisher, God, i doubt developer. i did doubt it highly it's a new developer no they've announced it the other guys are working on dying light good for them <laughs> But whatever. If you can't get enough of Dead Island, until I actually one announced, see gameplay. Escape. Play Dead Island Epidemic. It's still in beta. Okay, so, so you're yeah. you're waiting till. Are you completely shitting on Dead Island Two right away, or you're waiting for? Yes. It, as of everything. now, it's. It, I carry the same thoughts for the first one until I see actual gameplay of that. And if it looks like the trailer that they showed, that was completely you know animated and whatnot already rendered out, then maybe. There's, like, no way to make chopping up zombies in the hand-to-hand combat interesting. There's literally, like, no way to do it. It's going to be the same shit every time. Yeah. It's be repetitive. It's just, oh. Gets old quick. It, it does, yeah. We'll have to it wait does. and see for some gameplay. But, uh, yeah. anyway, so back to this. So, uh, it's going to be a brand new Dead Island game. It's going to be a spin-off. It's going to be a survival mystery. It's going to be a third-person... Um, survival mystery game it's going to take place between dead island and dead island 2 and uh, you play as some news reporter and blah 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 trying to figure out um somehow the disaster took place and and all that stuff and it oh doesn't it, didn't even, uh, it doesn't look that good i'm gonna be honest dude dead island didn't even have a good story to like back up the shittiness of everything else like fuck i'm thinking about it. i'm just gonna Pissed. The storyline like, was pretty weak, yeah. It, was, it didn't have a it single didn't have redeeming just, factor. No, you're on vacation and off. zombies pop up. Yep, that that's the, the oh great story my god, line. no storyline. There was no characters to get invested in. There was no twists and turns. There was nothing. They didn't even fucking try. They're just like, okay, there's a billion zombies. You're gonna chop through them one at a time for the next forty hours. Enjoy. <laughs> oh my god! And then there was Riptide, where you go on the boat, and then you get on the uh, another island, and you got to kill more zombies. Uh, I don't know how they screwed me over into thinking that was gonna be fun. Hey, we put boats in the game, but it's the same game. Enjoy. No, okay, mm, that was fun. <laughs> but yeah, this new one, um, I don't. know, It doesn't look that good, uh, in my opinion. They showed some. I think they showed some gameplay and some uh, a trailer along with the announcement, and um, I don't know. I don't know what's up with this series. If they're gonna, they obviously have plans for it. If they're making the spinoff and the sequel and the MOBA coming out, so they've got a lot invested in Dead Island. So I, I see it a series that's gonna stick around for a little bit. The MOBA's fun, cause, just because it's different enough to be fucking interesting. Right. God, everything else, fuck them. All right. uh, let's talk about some sales here real quick. First, Watch Dogs sells 4 million copies in a week. Whoa. Pretty impressive. So I got to ask the question, can we expect Watch Dogs every year from now on? Oh, probably, yeah. You think they're going to milk this series like Assassin's Creed? Mm-hmm. I think it says no. I don't know, cause I think they're gonna use it like they do with like Splinter Cell, where they'll make a new one every couple years. You know, I don't think they're gonna just every year. That's every year one does. That game got so over fucking hyped. I just watch uh, it. Yep. Yeah, you, you haven't even played it yet. I don't care. I was about to say, have you played it? <laughs> over hyped. It's basically Assassin's Creed, but fucking hacking. Limited hacking. I yeah, I say you have to play it first before you can say something like that. Oh, I've read enough reviews. No. You've read oh, other hearts. people's experiences with it. 
Yes. That's not oh, your yes. experience with it. Uh, but I know what I like, and I, I don't like. Yeah, but you were uh, really excited for this game at one point, so are you saying you don't even know what yeah. you like? Yeah, because I got caught up in the hype, bro, and they just that's what they wanted. They wanted us to be caught up in the hype. So we wouldn't see just an average game. I'm not saying it's a bad game, but it is not the, oh my god, awe-inspiring, amazing experience that they made it seem like it would have been when they first announced it at E3, okay? Like, no, no, no. Nope. Not what are you looking for in a not. game? You just seem to shit on everything. Uh-huh. Uh, new experience is not the same rehashed fucking shit that I've been playing the last 20 years, right? Jesus. But what's left? Hasn't everything been explored? No, obviously not. That's why I still find shit to play every now and then. <laughs> like what? Like when's the last game that you played and was like, wow, this is so different and I'm really enjoying the experience and blah, blah, blah. Um, I already know the game he's going to say. What? Starstorm Citizen. Starstorm Citizen? Mm-hmm. Just Star, Star Citizen. Citizen. Yeah. Star Citizen, whatever. <laughs> I always think Starstorm. Yes, I am getting excited for Star Citizen. No, or fly, what are that fucking No Man Fly or whatever? No Man's Skies, which had an no Man's Skies. trailer at the That E3. sounds really good, too. That sounds really good, too, just because it's so fucking different. That it's Here, just... hold on. Sweet Luck, what did you think about No Man's Skies at E3? Yay. Awesome. Do you even remember which I one it was? Even... Yeah, it's the one I where you go from planet to planet, and then there's like an unlimited amount of planets. Yeah, that one. Uh, every person spawns on a different planet. Yeah, that it's one. Fucking sweet. Yeah, Kuda automatically itself. shit on it because he was like, it's just well, it's no, E3, it's I special trailer, whatever. You, I asked you what it was, and you're like, it's basically Star Citizen. I'm like, oh, okay, I was instantly turned off. Then I like looked it up. I didn't even watch the trailers, dude. I'm going completely off of just descriptions of the game and shit. You need to watch this trailer. No, I don't need to watch the trailer. I don't even know if it's trailer. like Star Citizen. I don't know what Star Citizen. A trailer. Citizen is. A trailer is gonna like look Star good. Citizen. Uh, it's it's slightly different. Star Citizen is gonna be more focused on, on like combat. getting on getting people together. Yeah. This game seems it's like boring. if you meet somebody, it's gonna be like the most random like thing ever, and it's not gonna happen very often. And, you know, it's it sounds like a... Oh, I don't know. It's different. It's an exploring like it. game. Exactly. And that's what I like to do. I like to explore new horizons, not rehash the same shit. I wonder what the goals are going to be in that game. Never answer the question. What question? What was the last game that you were like, wow, this is a unique experience? Star Citizen, dude. You haven't and played it. Go fuck it. yourself. Next. Uh, you don't need to play something to be excited for it, okay? No, you, God. you said you've been playing the same shit for the past 20 years. Star Citizen is going to be like something you've played before, similar to it. Maybe not exactly. No, it's not going to be any, like anything I've played before, dude. I mean, it might the gameplay with the like the ships might be slightly similar, but the actual experience in the game that focuses around, like, Play interactions not gonna be like damn thing, dude. Okay, but that's th- you're still not answering my question. I said, what's the last game that you played where you're like, wow, this is such a unique experience. This is so different from what I've played before. Oh my god, dude! You know who you're talking to? The guy who's played like a bajillion fucking. The guy games? that's like, avoiding the question. Yeah, that's no, what I just talking couldn't to. tell you because, <laughs> dude, it's fucking when you played everything, it's just kind of like I don't know what to fucking pick and choose, like. Hold on, let me go my fucking Steam library. God, I don't have my actual game library, you know, ready to go fucking browsing through. Let's see, recent games play, all right? That blew your mind. That was like, that what an experience. Blew my fucking mind. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. I got this. Uh, let's see. Nope, nope, no, no, no. No, no. There's some good shit here. There's nothing blew my mind. <laughs> Antichamber kind of blew my mind a little bit. That's a portal game. That's portal. Fuck you, it's not portal. There's no fucking portals. It's a puzzle game. Yeah, it doesn't mean anything it's a great puzzle. Less. I recommend anti-chamber great game. Yeah, did that not blow your fucking mind? It was totally different from everything else ever, ever, ever? No, because I've played puzzle games like that before. No, you've not played a puzzle game like fucking anti-chamber before. You're, you're high on crack I've played games. better puzzle games than that before. Portal's a pretty awesome puzzle game. Yeah, anti yeah. is really good. Anti-chamber. Really good. Okay, there you go. Okay. So Let's that would see. be your game? Does anti-chamber have the community levels? No, it's oh. just one. It's actually quite expensive for what it is. But it's part of a bundle, right? I'll link it to you later. 
Yeah. Okay, Neo Scavengers, a game you probably haven't heard much of. That game fucking blew me away, dude. Was it like anything you've ever played? Was the experience so no, breathtaking? It was n- nothing like I've ever played, dude. It's like survival to the extreme and like a post apocalyptic like it's it's so good. There's like so many options. It's just different than fucking everything. Neo Scavenger, definitely check it out if you're looking for something different. It, it's really fucking good. Oh my god. Neo yeah. Scavenger. Let me look at this thing. Neo yeah, Scavenger. Yep, capital N E O Scavenger Space Scavenger. Really, really fucking good. What kind of game is this? It's a survival. It's not an action game because it takes place like you, everything. You got time to think about everything. It's like on a grid, and it's just really, really interesting. It's really in depth. Boring. No, it's really fun. <laughs> I thought it was boring. Like boring too, but no, it's really, really fun. It's and it's difficult, and it's interesting, and it's, it's really, really fucking good. So this was the last yeah. game that you played that blew your mind? Not the last game, but it was one of the last games. Like, I, I don't have a chronological order of the games I've played in my head and which ones blew my mind. Dude, well, they're in recent order. No, because after so long, it just lumps them all together. Um, what else blew my fucking mind? Uh, there's some that were little mini explosions, but nothing that was like. Uh... Played them all. Cart life was pretty mind blowing. Cart life was pretty mind blowing. Is that where you're a hot dog stuff. vendor? Uh, different kind of stuff. Uh, <laughs> newspaper. Uh. The hot dog guy, coffee shop. It's just so fucking different and so unique. It's just so it was just a completely different game experience, dude. And that's what I'm looking for. It was fucking good. And you think you're gonna get this different game experience at Star Citizen? Oh hell yeah, I know I am, dude. I fucking know I will. I wanna I wanna throw Dark Souls two in there, but it wasn't like it wasn't brand new, but the, the game is just so polished, and it's already different on its own. It's not trying to be, like, another series. I'll, I'll throw that in there, too. Dark Souls 2 is just fucking... Isn't it similar to... Goat Simulator. Dark Souls and Demon Souls? Huh? Isn't it, like, Dark Souls and Demon Souls, though? It's made by the same people. It's, like, a spiritual successor. It's not trying to be anybody. It, it's It's one of the most unique gaming experiences out there, so... Just everything. It's it's fucking amazing, dude. It's great. It's fucking great. No, I'm not gonna say goat simulator. God damn it. Take your word for it. <laughs> girlfriend loved it. Uh, yeah, for all five seconds, and then she got tired of it. All right, we got a couple more things here before we wrap it up. First, something I thought I'd never see. Uh, when this was announced, Minecraft has apparently the console version has outsold the PC version. What? Shit. But you gotta take into account it's on Vita, it's on 360, it's on PS3, PS4. Oh, so all the consoles together. Is it also I counting so. mobile? Is it counting, like, phones? Probably. Um, if it counts phones, I, like, hand over heels be like, okay, no, duh, it's, it's, like... it's only 360 and PS3. Are you sure? Holy shit! Yeah, it says it surpassed the sales of PC and Mac. It has got to be like close to like the number one selling game in like the history of like anything. That was just... overall, it sold fifty four million copies. <laughs> Holy shit! And I think I know why the the console version is so much better. It's because it allows you to create servers and play with your friends. Because that's what people want to do. They watch these YouTube uh, videos. They see Minecraft. They see people playing with their friends. Looks like a lot of fun. They want to do it too. You can't do that as easy as you can on the PC version. So the console version, you can set up a server easily, invite your friends, and bam, you can play. That's why I think that's my opinion. Yeah, but you can do more on PC. You can, but I don't think people <laughs> care. They just want the Minecraft game. Now like take whatever version of it. Make it better. Well, you know, people who bought it on PC probably also bought it on console. Like, Which is mind blowing. Yeah, why yeah. would they do that? <laughs> I don't know because they can play with a controller and it's easier. And I mean, I play with a controller because I'm not stupid and I know how to program a controller. But yeah. <laughs> I can't play it at all. If 
Fuck you! I told all my Japanese kids I play Minecraft, and then I drew them. pictures. You lied to their I, face. <laughs> I drew pictures of creepers on their letters that I had to write back to them. It was great. Okay. I want to be the most popular kid in school. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> but when I read that, I was just like, "Holy shit!" Like, that's, that's pretty crazy. Dude. Yeah, it's a little ridiculous. Pretty mind blowing. Uh, <clears throat> next, uh, a game, I don't know, Tweet like definitely knows what it's called, uh, Planetary Annihilation. Yeah. Which was a Kickstarter game, you know, it's, it was released recently in Early Access on Steam. I, I think it's going to be the first game in Early Access sold in retail. So, I think you'll be able to yeah, buy it on PS3. Yeah, I saw that sold in retail, I was, I was like really blown away from that, I was like, what? Yeah, Early which, Access so wait, wait. Break it down. They're selling like a disc in like yeah. GameStop for the yeah. game before it actually comes out. And yes. it's in early access. Yeah. Oh They're God. selling I, early access. I fucking hate this trend so goddamn much. And that's what, what I want to, that's what I'm gonna go into next. This early access trend. Is this good or bad? Oh my god. It's both. Go, I think go so too. Like, I, I think so too. Um good, it gets the publisher money uh for what they can like go quicker if they need to. Bad because sometimes the game's not going to get finished. Exactly, it's such a fucking gamble it's, for it's a flip. us. Like it's it, whenever a game comes out early access, it's basically saying to me, "Yeah, I'm making this game. I'm probably like one or two guys. It's going to take a long time, and we don't have enough money to finish it. So we're going to try to get enough money, but we might not because you know we're selling it and it's not finished. And it's just oh my god, it's just this." Fucking cycle of like, okay, we need more money. It's not finished. Okay, it's never it's gonna be finished. It's either gonna get finished or it's not. And it's just gamble. Oh, do you I can't think, fucking stand it. Do you think Some work big publishers are gonna take to this kind of thing? Because like no. we talked about it on the last it. What's Cracking, EA is thinking about doing this with uh, Battlefield Hardline. They're thinking Fuck. about doing an early access that, for it too. They have no fucking excuse. To yeah, there's no shit. reason to. They're already selling pre-orders, which is basically early access, except without the early access. You're paying for a fucking game that's not even out yet. Yeah. Holy shit, dude. I am getting so irked by this bullshit. It's just... Oh, my God. It makes it so And I think crazy. I read the other day Killing Floor 2 is going to be released in early access as well. Fucking shocker, dude. If they got, like, the, the team behind them to, like, deliver relatively the quickly, yeah. that's fine. But some of these developers where it's, like, one or two people, I understand their plight. But a game that's in early access for like a year plus, that's fucking bullshit. Like this is unfucking acceptable. How long, long has Star System been early access? Uh, they've only started the beta like maybe a few months ago. Yeah, it was Kickstarter. So, it's different. Yeah, yeah, it was Kickstarter. That was like a pre order bullshit again, but that's different because... Planetary Annihilation was Kickstarter too. Was yeah. it? Okay, yeah. well cool for them, but it's still I just I can't understand this whole fucking early access trend where it's like and some of these fucking games that have like come out to be like scams where they're just never updated, and uh, Cube World. Um, hmm? Well, Cube World. <laughs> that's a good one. One of them. Apparently, yeah. it's getting an update soon. Oh, never mind then. Take it back. Yeah, he's yeah, still it's only working been a year on though. <laughs> yeah, that that game is nowhere near being quote unquote finished. Probably. Yeah, how many like, people do they got working on their team? Like seven. Two? It it's, it's literally wife, like right? I think one guy who has a real job and he's like you know working on this on the side and i don't think if that's your situation you should be allowed to fucking sell like a fucking half-baked product like that it's just yeah we were talking about this the other day uh, actually with uh, mercenary kings because we played it and stuff yeah and, um, i i told kuda i'm like if they 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 should be given a time period for early access they say okay we're, this is going to be an early access for six months. We've completed most of the game, but there's still some bugs here. You can buy it, try it out here, give us our, your opinion. And then within those six months, the game's going to be completed. Not not like speed... I don't want to shit on speedrunners because I like it, but it's been in early access for about a year now. So. Mm-hmm. And... <clears throat> and I'm just like, what's the final game gonna actually fucking look like? Like, what what do I have to expect after it's been out for a year but not finished? Like, most games that are out for a year, and if I've already been playing them, I'm done. I don't want to play them anymore. <laughs> and so, even if it does get finished, I'm at the point where I'm like, who gives a fuck? <laughs> like, 
I just, I don't fucking, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it all. I don't think it should be allowed to run rampant like it, it is now, so. Do you see big companies doing this? EA, Activision. Oh, fuck. If they do that shit, dude. So oh. stupid, because they, you know their game's coming out. Oh, yeah, their game's coming out, and then that just gives them excuses to, like, half-ass shit. And, yeah. I mean, they already do it. They release a game, say it's complete, and then have to patch the shit out of it because it's still fucking broken, so. <sighs> what happened in the days when the games came out Before and they were finished. all completed and finished? Yeah, it was nice. And then we were in the age of, you know, okay, the game's here, we're going to patch a bunch of stuff in and fix it and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And now we're at the point where it's like, this is the alpha. <laughs> we have an idea. We don't this even have textures. Looks like. Yeah, we don't even have textures. Yeah, we have this game, and you can play it. There's no point, because we haven't put the story or like any point into it. But, you know, play it. Play it, give us your money. You can push buttons, and, and stuff happens. Yeah, a few years from now, who knows? Will we be done? Yeah, it's part of the adventure, you know? <laughs> yeah, you might never fucking find anything. Yeah. And you don't get your money back. Idea. You don't get your money back. Oh, man. I think, yeah, if they put, like, a timeline that said, hey, if this game hasn't been fully released within this amount of time, you get your money back. I'd be slightly more inclined to, like, you know, start throwing money at these developers. You think That'd be awesome, because just... then they don't finish and you just get rent of money back all the time. I think that's yeah. what Steam should do, because if you look at the Steam page, it's, like, all early access games. Oh, my God, yeah, and I'm tired of, like, loading up new games, and I'm saying, like, oh, this looks cool and interesting, and then there's this giant fucking early access piece of shit. I don't even fucking consider them anymore. I put them on my wish list, and then I forget about them, because it's just, (laughs) oh, man, I just can't even fucking stand that shit. Like, what, DayZ, how long has that fucking shit been in actual early access, like? A while. How many updates does that shit get? Not that many, like, (laughs) what was the last fucking update? Fixing know. some crashes, yeah. some glitches, but it's not adding like any like meat to the fucking game as far as I can see. It's just like the mod's better. Oh god. Yeah. It's like little itty bitty baby steps and I just can't fucking stand it, dude. I don't know. What comes after that, you know? Like I don't know. They're gonna start charging you for a demo, and then you're gonna have to pay again to like pay the real fucking game. Like, <laughs> you have to buy it twice. Like, uh, it's fucking stupid. Should be interesting, but yeah, I think Steam needs to. They need if they put their foot down, then I think it's gonna kind of like bottleneck through and fix all the problems and shit. But until they do something, they it's it's money for them. They make money off of every sale, so you know. Yeah, they. Don't. This is. Throwing tons of new things for them to sell on the but internet. But most of these games should be in green light then, shouldn't they? Well, they're in green light, and then they actually get through, but they're still early access. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> what kind of stipulations is it to get through green light? Like, before it was like, it seemed difficult. Like, not everything was getting through. And now it's just like, okay, it's, just, it, it's green lit, it's being sold, but guess what? It's early access, and who knows when it's going to be completed, like, if ever. Ugh. Yeah. And they're still charging, like, near full price for that shit. Like, uh, yeah. so yeah. angry. Yeah. Minecraft started this shit. You know that, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's... But Minecraft <laughs> did totally it. Totally blame Minecraft. Well. They had updates. There's like, guess what? We just sold a beta. Uh, no, they were selling alpha. alpha. The alpha. Like, yeah. We just sold an alpha and made, like, a million dollars. Guess what? <laughs> Everybody else can half-ass fucking shit and make money, too. Like, But Minecraft's a good game. Don't hate on it. No, this is... Hey, it sold 54 cycle. million copies. It doesn't yeah. matter. It's got to be a half decent cycle. game if it sold 54 million copies. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> That's an Transformers, the new Transformers, what What did they say? They sold like over $100 million worth of fuck tickets. <laughs> and it's shit. Somebody was game. calling like the movie. And they were like, how, that's not fucking possible. Somebody called them on their their shit. I don't know if it is or not because I didn't. Oh really? Transformers it. isn't possible. I didn't see that one coming. No, like a hundred million dollars in the first like day of it being out because it was so fucking shit. Like they were like, how could this fucking be making that much money when it's so fucking garbage? Shit can make money, okay, <laughs> even if it's just shit. So, uh, yeah. I'm not saying that it's good in Minecraft. I'm just saying, don't tell me <laughs> just because it sold. Minecraft was the grandfather of that. You're right. Fucking bullshit, dude. Uh, why? They see their success and everyone wants to replicate it. I mean, it's a good system, but at the same time, it's flawed. 
yeah. yeah, you want to get the community. I'm all for that. Get the community involved, but work on your fucking game. Yeah. <laughs> I, know, I just want a polished game to come out, and when I pay for it, I want it to be done. Right? I want games, not betas and alphas. Yeah, that's what I want. Uh, and last but not least, our final topic. Uh, it was announced uh, Homefront, the very not so popular, semi successful series that was published by THQ, is going to be getting a sequel. Not uh, yet. Nope, nope, nope. No. nope. Can't get excited <laughs> yet because apparently um, the people who are making it, I believe they're uh, Com- Crytek, um, <laughs> Are not paying their workers. So you know what they did? They fucking quit. And over 100 people have quit already. And are not reporting to work or something like that. And they, they haven't been being paid. And So yeah. So uh, I think that game is uh, is cancelled. I know um, Rise 2 was made by them. And that's been cancelled. And um, Homefront. Our workers right. Homefront is now looking too good as well. So. So it's Crytek right? Crytek, yes, that's the name of it. They made Crisis, right? I think so, yeah. There might okay, be different well, departments, because I think there was, like, Crytek UK and all that shit. You know why the developers quit, right? Is it because of crying or something? Are you going to make a stupid pun? No. No, because they're forcing them to make their graphics so goddamn good. Yeah, uh, they're working too hard. And they're just like, no, nah, no, nah, we can't do this. Well, if they just paid them, I think they wouldn't mind. <laughs> yeah, paying is a good start. You sure? You've never just done something because you love doing it, you know? Yes. Yeah, I like to get paid for my work. <laughs> That's a good way to make me happy. Apparently, some of those unemployed employees may be seeking legal action against the company, so... Will we be seeing a THQ situation come upon here? Is we going to be seeing Crytek go out of business? Oh my god, I, I hope know. so. <laughs> what do you mean you hope so? That's people losing their jobs. I loved it when THQ went out of business, and then everybody was like poaching like different games and properties. Oh, yeah. and that was fucking great. They're like, oh, we'll take South Park. Oh, we'll, oh, take, we'll take WWE. Row. Oh, we'll take Saints Row. Oh. Yeah, fuck it. Like, yeah, it was just like that was that was fine. <laughs> yeah, it was. I'm not gonna lie. They had like a bidding war and shit. I remember that. Yeah, that, was that was interesting. Yeah, it's like I wouldn't mind seeing that shit. I don't like any Cryotech games. I mean, fuck, Crisis. Is fucking graphics porn and that's it there's like no redeeming factor that fucking game what about rise xbox one exclusive oh man yeah that quick time simulator that looked fucking gorgeous and fun yeah now we'll never get rise to it will never rise damn. again maybe i don't know oh, 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 damn, damn. Schmang, schmang. but uh, i think that's that's the final topic for what's cracking um, so that's going to be it for What's Cracking 87. We hope you guys enjoyed. Keep up with everything that's going on the channel. Who are we having What's Cracking next week? Nope, I'm climbing a mountain. <laughs> that's a story right there. We'll have to wait for yeah. it. All right, he avoided jail just to climb a mountain. That's his community service. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to climb a mountain and try to get my Japanese driver's license. I might have many good stories. So I hear you, gonna, man. Yeah, that we're gonna stay in a We're going to stay in a hut. It's going to be great. Yeah, that sounds very promising. Um, well, yeah, that's going to be it for What's Cracking 87. Like I said, keep up with everything on the channel. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, catch us next time. And um, go. Uh, this is something I wanted to talk about at the beginning, but I kind of forgot, so I'll just kind of plug it here at the end. We've been live streaming a lot lately. Oh, okay. I was and like... <laughs> um, live streaming, we want to make it something regular. Uh, a part of our, our program so uh, if you want to watch us live I'll link it in the description go follow the channel you'll be sent an email notification as soon as we go live and uh, you can feel free to join us live or if not you know sometimes we do it at odd hours so uh, we'll usually upload the replay and you can catch it there so, uh, nice. so yeah live streaming twitch.tv slash eggs. go follow and uh, and yeah so Catch us next time, guys. Peace out. Peace. Peace out.